Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials with another Building Websites with David tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to replace a PDF file that is attached to a button in WordPress and the Divi Builder. What we have here right now is a web page showing the state directory for this organization for 2023-24. Now I have received an updated directory from the source for this, and that directory is here in this window. Now, as you can see, it's named most recent. Now, when you name a file, you should not ever name it most recent because what happens when you come out with the next most recent? What you should always do is put the year and the month, and if you do it more than once a month, the day as well. So I'm going to change the name of this. And instead of saying most recent, I'm going to say today is 2023 it's August, so 08, and that's all we need. And I have now renamed that file. What I'm going to do now is find the original source file in the WordPress website. And here we are in the media library. Now you can pretty much find any file in the media library by file name, just by typing in a portion of the file name in the search box right here. Uh, you can find them also if you have put in their metadata, but that's another video. So this is a state directory. So I'm just gonna type in DIR and hit enter. And here we have the 20, 23, 24 state directory. I'm going to click on that. And even though it's attached to a button as a link, I am going to delete the file. Delete permanently. And I'm going to say, OK. And now it is gone. The next thing I want to do is upload the replacement file. And we see it is here now in the media library. It is this one with the date on it that I put there. Click once on the file. And right here we have the link. And so I'm going to copy the link to the clipboard and close this. Now let's go back to the page with the button on it. Now we are logged in. I'm going to enable the Divi Builder, Visual Builder. Takes it a minute of twiddling and then it comes up. And there we have it. Now this is the button that we want to link to the new PDF. I'm going to click once on it. That brings up the control panel bar here. I'm going to click on the cogwheel icon, which brings up our settings dialog. Now on this settings dialog, we need to go to the link, which is right here. And where this has the button link, I'm going to click three times to select it all. One, two, three. I'm going to hit my delete key and I'm going to hit Control V, Command V if you're on a Mac, and that pastes that button right there. I click OK on the checkbox. I open up the control bar on the bottom of the page and click the Save button. And now that that has gone through, I am going to exit the Visual Builder, and we're going to test it. This is the last step in any operation. Click on it, and there is the state directory. I'm going to use the back arrow to go to that page, and we're done. That's how you replace a link to a PDF file on any button in the Divi Builder in WordPress.